Hi, my name is Sarah Sutton. I've been writing for the past two days and I have not um, been keeping track of my word count. We haven't kept track of our word count since 15th. Today is the 20th. So, that's not great. I, which is funny because the word of my day, word for my year is intentional. I have not been intentional about tracking word count. Uh, the book is going well though. So it's not the book that is bothering me. Like, you know when you, like, when your house gets messy and it's just like, I, I don't even feel like I have the energy to clean it, the bandwidth. On the life front, we are struggling, but on the writing front, we are doing well. So, can we really complain? But that is why I, don't, I haven't really been updating, just because I've been writing, but I haven't, it's not been like intentionally dedicated writing times and but I think what I'm gonna do this morning it's 11 almost I think I'm gonna go for a walk take mommy for a walk because I know that will help me to feel better moving my body and exercising you know even if it is just a walk it's still exercise I don't even know why I checked in but see you in a little bit maybe at this point I don't know hi hi all right we it's a while later oh there's a smudge on you it's a while later it's seven my dad actually was here he just left we watch we're watching a k-drama together we're only on episode one so like i don't know but it's the gyeong song creature gyeong song is that what it was i think it started with a g kind of like scary a little bit um I think we're only in episode one like I said but I wanted to watch it I've been wanting to watch it and we watched like the trailer together like I showed him the trailer and he's like oh it looks interesting so we're watching it together English dubbed <sighs> it's driving me crazy <laughs> but it's fine um but I we went I did go for a walk today I went took Bomi for a two mile walk so she was tuckered out and i took a shower and i feel like sometimes showers just really do wonders as like a mental reset um so we are feeling better than we were feeling earlier today uh but i'm making coffee now like i said at seven i want to write the night away and i'm hoping that bummy will lay down because while my dad was here watching tv she didn't really lay down she'll sleep while i write so fingers crossed anyway I didn't end up going to a coffee shop yesterday, like I said I wanted to. I'm thinking about trying to go tomorrow. Um, maybe not Friday, because Friday is when I have a video that comes out. Mm, I don't know. I, but I want to go, because I really do get a lot done when I go to the coffee shop. But I don't know. I got more photo cards in the mail. Ah, I shouldn't show you. Look at it. He's got a little plushie. That is, it's just so stinking cute. <sighs> the little things that bring us joy. You know, sometimes that's all we need. Just the little things. So, like I said, I'm not sure like how writing is gonna go, but I'm hoping for a good little chunk of words. I want to finish the scene that I'm on. I don't think it, I, it, it's gonna be much longer, so I don't think it's gonna be hard to. We are getting very close to the domino effect of scenes happening in success succession that I know solidly. That's good. Like, I think I'm in this scene, probably one more, and then maybe one more scene with her parents. The big scene, the big scene, the wedding, the big scene, I think. So I think I want to say two, two more scenes to write until we get to the domino, like trickling to the, we're getting close. I think we're almost at 70,000 though. I don't remember, I think we're close, so crazy i'm excited i and i i want to preface and like stress like even though like i'm having a little bit of like i i was i was obviously yeah the writing is going well the writing aspect of my life is not where this where i am feeling upset about like where i where my unhappiness is stemming from um not that i'm unhappy but like like i just want to make it clear Nothing writing related is stressing me out. I'm not burnt out. I'm not struggling with my words and my creative process. That is going very well. So where's my laptop? I think I put it over here because I sat over here. My dad sat on the couch when we were watching TV. I miss having a recliner. That like dedicated little spot for writing. Hello. So 
It is 8.48. I went to the coffee shop today. I didn't get a chance to film because literally somebody didn't sit down at my table, but like at the table right across from me, facing me. So every time that I looked up to take a drink, like we would make eye contact because when I looked up, he would look up and it was just... He was too old for it to be like romantic, you know? <laughs> this wasn't my meat cue. <laughs> but, um, so I didn't get to film. But I don't really know how, I have nothing to prop you on. And my arm is like, ugh. I don't know how many words I got. Not a lot, to be honest. But we are now at 70,994. So, I do have client work, um, 130 pages. So I'm actually gonna do that now. And then when I finish, probably go wash off the makeup and then right if we still feel like it but normally showers wipe me out i don't know if it's all the steam and all the stuff that just like makes me sleepy but uh i do usually feel very very tired after them so i don't anticipate there being more words today but we will see the client works short though <clears throat> like it's 130 pages but the, the spacing is pretty the formatting seems like it should be quick read so it's only 30,000 words so it's over 30,000 words, which means they booked in the wrong tier. It always tickles me, like the people who like try to get away <laughs> with booking a little bit over what my tiers are. It's fine. It's fine. It's just, it's just funny. I have a thing on Fiverr, like a requirement that they have to answer. It's like, what is your word count? And they said that little squiggle about 30. Is that what that squiggle means? I don't know. About 30,000. So I took that to mean... You know, it was less than 30,000. It is not. <laughs> Somebody booked the other day 5,000 over what the tier allowed. And I'm like, the scene that I'm writing right now, <clears throat> um, it's cute. It, it's working okay, but I don't, I don't know. It's going to need to be tweaked in editing. Some of the lines are cute in it though, but I'm feeling a little bit cheesed out writing it. It's like, I don't know. It's not bad. It's just like, it doesn't feel consistent with my character is what it feels like. Like my character does not feel like she would be getting this romantic, you know? So, I don't know. But anyway, that's not we're working on. Client work. Okay, so we finished the manuscript. Just sent it off. It's 1046. So it read very, very fast. I didn't think it would take me long. I'm gonna maybe write a little bit. Just a little bit and then I'll go take a shower and then probably go to bed. I don't know how many. I'm not really gunning for word counts right now. I'm just sort of trying to really, really hard get to the dominoes that I mentioned earlier. So that's what we're gunning for. I think we're close. I think we're close. I think I have one scene after this one with her parents. And it's a good idea too because like my showers, this is kind of weird, but like I feel like I'm the most creative in the shower. Being in a space where I have nothing else to look at, nothing else to distract me, but like, obviously showering. Um, <laughs> my, my, I kind of just like get into my head and I like go into my head and think about my books and it's hard to explain, but for some reason, showers just help me, okay? It's showers and night drives, but not when I'm driving, which I, have, I haven't had a chance to do those in forever because it was really only when I lived at home with my parents, they would go somewhere. They would usually go like for food runs at night if they wanted fast food at late at night. Um, I'd sit in the back seat and I'd write. And it was just really good because it was all dark and I could picture everything I needed to in my head with no distraction. So I miss those days. <laughs> anyway, um... So we're going to try, maybe just finish off this scene. It's very close to being done, I'm sure. I don't really know how it's supposed to end. Like, it, it's ending in a way that could hint at, like, steaminess. But I don't want it to hint at steaminess. So I need to figure out how to write that. Otherwise, maybe that's something I'll figure out in editing. I've talked about this before, but I don't think I want this book to have any sort of, like, see spiciness in it. I don't know. I guess it's, it, it is gonna, I just don't, I don't think it fits. At this moment, it could read, like, steaminess, or it could read, like, something happens after the scene would end, but it wouldn't in my head. Do you know what I'm saying? I think the setup for the scene is just wrong, but we'll fix it. And editing. There's a lot of things to fix in editing. It's going to be a tricky time. <laughs> I 
Hey, hi, hello. It's Friday. It's 11.30 on a Friday. I'm not posting a video today. Listen, okay, I figured, you know what? I haven't posted a video on Friday for the whole month of February. Why start now? This is the last month, the last Friday that I will be of February. So I figured start fresh in March and figure out a posting schedule because I liked how it was last time, how I was writing last time. So I'll probably do that again for March's posting schedule. Doing it like this did not work for me. I just came upstairs but I realized I can't really take you with me because I'm gonna get changed to go for a walk. So like, you don't get to see that. But I do have client work today. Um, it's a long one. So client work and then I wanna write. So we're gonna go for a walk and when we get back, I will probably, oh, you want me picked up? Okay. We're gonna go for a walk and then when I get back, she's gonna be tired and then I will uh, okay, we are by the stairs. You can't jump, honey. All right, and then from there, we will decide what we do. Client work is probably gonna be happening at night, so. Hello, so I don't know when the last time I talked to you was. It's been days, it's been days. You've been in my bedroom for days. I am rounding the vlog off here. I have to go to the post office, but I figured I would let my clips import while I went to the post office, so. Now, I stopped keeping track of daily word count goals unintentionally, and then I had missed too many days for me to like catch up, and so I'm like, you know what, just forget it. I will start fresh in March, because this is the last week of February. <laughs> Unfortunately, we do not know how many words we got this week, but I do know we're at 72,000. 72,957 for tonight. Um, so that's pretty good, that's really good. So that's where we're leaving off at for, for the week. I don't know how many words that is. If I stated somewhere in the vlog in the beginning what number that was when I started off, I'll put it up here what we got for the week, but otherwise I don't know. Sorry that things have been a little bit hodgepodge lately. I feel like sometimes we have lulls of, of motivation and spurts. Sometimes we have some good moments of it. January we did really, really well. February not as well, <laughs> but we're still being productive in terms of writing. I just haven't been diligent about vlogging about it, so I apologize. Hopefully we can do better in March, so. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, I think that's the, one of the funny things about these vlogs is that you really just do see the highs and lows of Sarah Sutton. <laughs> so um, thank you for sticking around in spite of that. If you guys enjoyed this video, even though it was not as structured as the ones from last month, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button um, and comment down below. Something you're looking forward to in March. Whether that be the spring weather, whether that be a birthday, let me know what you're looking forward to. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sarah Sutton. I'm an indie author of 10 young adult romance books, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!